reality is, is that this government's inflationary crisis is what is putting people out on the streets. They've broken Canada's immigration system. Will they allow for a carbon tax election to allow Conservatives to fix their mess? Uh, does South Glengarry. After nine years of NDP Liberals, time is up for the Prime Minister's endless chaos and failures. And let's use his own words on immigration just from last year to prove it. Quote, as our government is raising immigration levels to the highest levels that have ever been, people are like, we're already facing challenges in housing. Where are we going to house these 500,000 people per year? And now, a year too late, the Prime Minister made an announcement that is an admission of a massive failure of his record after nine years. Will the Prime Minister admit that his flip-flop has caused lasting damage to Canada's housing market, health care and jobs? Minister for Employment and Workforce Development. Mr. Speaker, we've answered that question already this week. My question, and a question that Canadians from the queer community want to know, is where was that member, who is a member of the queer community, when it came to 50% of kids living in the street who are LGBT because their straight parents kicked them out? Where's that member when Blaine Higgs went after trans kids in New Brunswick? Where's that member when Danielle Smith is saying she's going to take the rights of trans kids away? Where's that member when Scott Moe is focusing on bathrooms in a Saskatchewan election? He will not show up at Canadian Pride events. When we talk about trans issues, he should be ashamed. He is not defending the queer community of Canada. The Honourable Member from Stormont Dundas, South Glengarry. I'm proud of who I am and proud of my integrity when that minister can't even name the other Randy, so I'm not going to take any lectures from that guy, Mr. Speaker. But here's what the Prime Minister said just last year about the immigration system. Quote, there are a lot of pressures on our system, increasing the immigration levels. Interestingly, though, it'll take some pressure off the system. They have absolutely failed and they broke our immigration system. They've doubled housing costs and they did a massive flip-flop yesterday that they're embarrassed to even talk about. After nine years, why can't we just have a carbon tax? election to boot that member in this government out of here. The Honourable Minister for The Honourable Member for Employment and Workforce Development. Where's that member's voice and the members of the Conservatives when queer refugees are struggling to come to the country? I'll tell you, they are nowhere to be found. Where is that member sticking up for trans kids when we have Canadian Pride caucus meetings? Not to be found. Neither is the MP for Thornhill. Mr. Speaker, they try to wrap themselves in the rainbow flag when it's convenient to get Conservative votes. They are simply not truthful with Canadians. They are not truthful with the queer community. Do you hear the heckling, Mr. Speaker? They can't handle it when we punch. They can't handle it when we stick up for the queer community. They do not stick up for the 2 SLGBT you got community. We do. We're liberals. We're the government. We've got kids' backs. Colleagues. Colleagues. Thank you. Thank you. The honourable member. The honourable. Colleagues. The honourable member from Calgary, Nose Hill. Well, Mr. Speaker, the reality is that it was this government who fought tooth and nail for an extension of the Rainbow Railroad refugee program that was started under the former Harper Conservative government. And, at the meet, and all the while, they allowed countless people who were in upstate New York to illegally cross the border. That is the record of this government's broken immigration system. Mm -hmm. And if he wants to talk about queer youth or any Canadian, the reality is, is that this government's inflationary crisis is what is putting people out on the streets. They've broken Canada's immigration system. Will they allow for a carbon tax election to allow Conservatives to fix their mess? Uh, okay. The Honourable Secretary to the Minister of Health. Speaker, immigration is key to economic growth of Canada. This country is full of incredible story of immigrants. One speaking right now of, of a country that has welcomed people from around the world. But the government is always taking a very responsible approach to immigration to make sure that Canada continues to grow. And that's exactly the kind of responsible approach we are demonstrating. The work we did to bring immigrants so that we can keep Canada moving forward during the pandemic and the work we're doing now so that we can keep up with pace of, of Canadian population growth, housing we need, and the infrastructure Canadians deserve. Oh. The Honourable Member from Calgary, Nose Hill. A responsible approach to immigration. The former immigration minister bragged about increasing 
uh, international student permits from about 400,000 to 500,000 knowing that shady universities were abusing these students and that these students were living under bridges in Toronto. That's the record of this government. This government, their responsible approach the member talks about, they dropped security clearance certificates from their own background checks for temporary uh, residences. There's nothing responsible about this government. Will they allow for a carbon tax election so that con conservatives can fix Canada's broken immigration system? Excellent. Bravo.